Hey y'all, it's Jasmine for J. Nicole Extensions. Doing a quick video for you. So, have you ever noticed that sometimes when you get brand new hair extensions, they have a bit of a scent to them? Some people call it a corn chip scent. Um, I've heard a couple different things. And I've noticed it as well. And the reason why is because when you're working with virgin hair extensions, if you notice that a lot of the time the patterns that you see, those are not normal or natural patterns. No one is walking around with this S-shaped wave pattern. That was very beautiful. But um, and the way that they achieve this pattern is they steam the hair. So in order to keep the hair still virgin, so they're meaning they won't chemically alter it, means that they um, can apply steam to it. So that way the hair isn't manipulated and it's still virgin hair. However, the steam allows them to create this shape. And the same is true sometimes for curly extensions or any type of wavy extension. It has to go through a steamer. And that steam, sometimes because it is a machine or it's in the factory, it can create a bit of a stint. So um, the best way to get rid of that stint, if time allows, because I know sometimes we get those hair extensions right before we have to go to the shop, but if time allows, get you some um, fabric softener. I like this scent. It smells so good. Y'all, it's like perfume. But anyways, you can use any kind. Dollar Tree brand doesn't matter. None. I've used them all. Um, I haven't noticed where any of them harm the hair. Um, and I just got, honestly, this is probably too much because I'm just doing this one bundle. So I'm going to pour a little bit back in here. But um, literally, this is probably a teaspoon. And I pour it in the water. And the water is lukewarm or cool because we want to make sure that we keep those, um, the cuticles, um, make sure we keep those cool because that's what makes the hair stay aligned and it doesn't frizz and all of that fun funky stuff. Because warm water can make the hair frizz a lot easier because it warms those cuticles up and it makes the cuticles go outward. Um, the cool water makes them go in. Oh my goodness, y'all. This water already smells so good. All right. And so all you do is just apply it. I'm not gonna even undo the bundle. Um, I would suggest that you all do, um, just because that way you can make sure that it dries evenly. So just put it in there. Some people let it sit in there. And this sometimes is also a good way to make the hair even softer. Who would have thought that liquid fabric softener softened hair as well? But this won't damage or harm the hair, but it'll definitely get that scent out. And like I said, sometimes if your extensions are a little on the rougher side, let's say you've had them for a while, and you're trying to add a little bit more softness to them, um, fabric softener is good for that too. All right, and so once you did that, I'm gonna lift this out. And like I said, some people let it sit. I would never let it sit more than two days though. You can already smell it. Oh, it smells so good now. All right, and then now I'm going to um, shampoo it and condition it just to get that product off of it. Little shampoo, and I just use Dollar Tree shampoo, y'all, but I use a moisturizing shampoo. That's the most important piece to me because shampoo strips the hair because it not only takes out the impurities and the dirt, but it can also strip the hair. So that means it's also taking out um, no, I'm not going to say it's taking out nutrients, but it just takes away that softness a lot of times, sometimes even the sheen. So that's why I prefer using a moisturizing shampoo. And once I finish shampooing the hair, now I want to go in and I want to add that moisture back. And so what I like to use is the Joico for dry and coarse hair. And I use this on my real hair as well. And again, I'm just using, getting it a little dab here because this is just one bundle of hair. So that may honestly even be too much. And how, and this is the same way I actually wash my hair. I just apply it like this. Because again, you don't want to cause too much friction between the hair. Because again, that's what causes frizzy hair, um, matting, tangling, different things like that. So it's important that you always kind of like work in one direction with the hair. And that's in the direction that it's already naturally going, which is downward. 
All right, and as you see, I kind of just use my hands to detangle, even though this didn't have any nails, but just to kind of, so just to make sure that every strand is getting that moisture bath. And then again, some people like to let this sit. Again, I wouldn't let it sit for more than two days. Um, sometimes I'll put it inside of a plastic bag or a Ziploc and I'll keep it in the bathroom so that way it can get some of that heat and steam. And I'll just let it sit in there for two days or if I'm in a rush, I'll just go ahead and wash it out. So for the sake of this video today, we're gonna go ahead and wash it out. Now, like I said, again, I would typically undo the bundle just because it makes it a little bit easier to dry the hair. Because you want to make sure that you don't let moisture sit inside the bundle because that can cause it to mold and it could even and it can also make the scent worse than what it originated. Or if there is no scent, it can create a scent. So all right, I'll just wash that out. And if you notice that the hair has been kind of wooly and unmanageable, um, I always I like to then use silicone mix. It provides a silicone coating to the hair that makes it a lot more manageable. Um, this makes the appearance look a lot, lot better. Um, but since this is a brand new bundle, there's, that's not necessary. But I do typically like to do that when I um, wash my hair after I've already made my hair or created it into a unit. All right, and this is how I get the moisture out of the hair. I try to get as much water out of the hair as possible before allowing it to air dry. I do not like to add unnecessary heat to the hair, but again, if you're in the rush, then you have to do what you have to do. All right, she's ready to go. And then I just will normally apply it to a towel. And if I'm in a rush, I'll put a fan directly on the hair. And I'm giving you all the recipe for what I do with my hair extensions as well, or my wig units. All right. Like I said, if I'm in a rush, I'll apply a fan. But even before doing that, I um, normally step on step on the hair. Because applying all of that body weight, so again, I, I wrap it over and then I normally step on it. Now I'm just using my hands because of the way that the tripod. But um, applying all of your body weight helps evaporate a lot of that moisture a lot quickly a lot quicker and it also doesn't hurt the hair at all because again you don't want to do this with the towel because that creates friction and again now it's creating that situation of frizz so everything we do we have to keep that in mind so that's why you see me just applying pressure like this because i'm trying to get the moisture out this way versus a lot of times with our real hair we tend to do this with the towel um and it, cre and it creates friction even with your real hair as well so um even with my real hair i try to when i wash my hair and dry it i just apply uh, apply compresses to my hair in the towel to get a that to get a lot of that moisture out all right, well, that's it. Uh, we appreciate you watching this video. Um, please subscribe to the channel. Follow us on Instagram. Uh, all of that will be in the bio box, but that's going to be J. Nicole um, Extensions on Instagram, J. Nicole Extensions on Facebook, um, info at jnicoleextensions.com. If you have any questions or specific questions, please feel free to email us. Um, if you want to become a wholesale vendor, please schedule a free consultation. If you have any questions on how to manage or take care of your hair, whether it's ours or anyone else's, I just, I'm a hair enthusiast, so I just love to help people. So please schedule a consultation. I'll be more than glad to help or assist. Um, but again, thank you, and I hope you enjoyed this video.